How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today we are going to be looking at the tune Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. It's a great song and the good thing is, is it only consists of four chords all the way through. So if you're a very beginner or you're just getting started on the guitar, um, this is a great one to play if you just want to play a basic strumming pattern and sing along to the tune. So without further ado, let's take a look at the chords involved in this song. Okay, so I'm now going to show you the four chords that you're going to need to play this tune. The first one is B minor. The second one is a D. The third one is an A. And the fourth one is an E. So I'll show you how to play these chords one by one. So the first chord, B minor, you may have seen this as a bar shape before. However, for the very beginner, this can be quite difficult. So what I've done is simplified this into a triad, which is a three note version of the chord, meaning that if you're a beginner or you've not been playing that long, this just gives you more of a chance. So we form this chord by placing our first finger on the second fret of the first string, our middle finger on the third fret of the second string, and our third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. This chord is played from string 4. The D chord is formed by placing our middle finger on the 2nd fret of string 1, our 1st finger on the 2nd fret of string 3, and our 3rd finger on the 3rd fret of string 2. This chord is played from string 4. The next chord we're going to play is an A. This is formed by placing our first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, our middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and our third finger on the second fret of the second string. This chord is played from string five. Finally, the E chord is formed by placing our first finger on the first fret of string three, our middle finger on the second fret of string five, and our third finger on the second fret of string four. This chord is played from string six. So as always, when you're playing chords, try to keep on the very tips of the fingers to ensure that we're not blocking any other strings, and also keeping our fingers to the right hand side of the frets to ensure that we have clarity and a clean sound throughout. So once we have the chords down for this song, the next thing is to apply a strumming pattern. So again, to make it as simple as possible, what we're going to do, we're literally just going to play one strum per beat, and each of the chords will contain two strums. So from the beginning, this is what it will sound like. So again, literally just one strum per beat, two strums per chord. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count us in, and you can try and play these chords along with me at a slow tempo. From the beginning, here we go. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two. And that's literally it. That's the four chords required to play this song. Um, I hope you have fun playing along with the tune. And as always, if you'd like more free tutorials, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Have a wonderful day.